Hey guys, so it's about 7.30 right now and I literally have just gotten out of the shower looking super sexy. I'm in London this morning, I got back from Mykonos last night at about half 11, um, which was awesome, but today I'm heading to sign a lot of copies of my new book for the pre-orders for WH Smith and I'm feeling really tired because I think I've had like six hours sleep for the last four nights, so it's just like one less than I would normally get, but it's like had a bit of a knock-on effect. I sound like really hoarse. I'm gonna get ready and head off to the headline offices, which are my publishers, to sign a lot of books. Let's do this, guys. I think it's actually a really nice day. I'm hoping I haven't opened the curtains yet. But it looks bright. Uh, bright, but a bit gray, to be honest. So yeah, no blue skies here today. I've also just lit this candle because it smells so good. And I wanted to tell you about it. There's actually not, I feel like it doesn't actually say anything on it. Oh, it does, it's malt brown but it is their, let's try not to drop this, it's their delicious rhubarb and rose one and it smells so good. Also, I'm looking for something to listen to. Um, I use Apple Music, not Spotify, which I think may be an error, but I haven't had the chance to um, switch it around yet. So, so first of all, do you guys use Spotify? Do you like Spotify? Is it better than Apple Music? And also, have you got any album recommendations for me? Because I keep listening to Alessia Cara and Halsey and I feel like I've been obsessed with them for like four months. I need some new music in my life and I haven't found any that I like more. So yeah, recommendations please, if you guys have any. So I'm wearing pretty minimal makeup today, or I'm going to be, because I'm about to put it on. I've got my Chanel Vitalimia Aqua foundation, my Lancome Concealer Estee Edit Mascara, which is actually really good, it's like double-ended. Um, this blush, which is Max Tenderling, now discontinued apparently, sad times. Um, Marc Jacobs Brow Wow Pencil in Ash Brown, and then I have my gel, my Rimmel um, Clear Gel, Rimmel brown eyeliner and then this Milani lipstick, which I'm not sure if I like because it's a bit shimmery. This is in the color 27, it's called Dolce Caramello. And it looks like that, it's a little bit shimmery I think, but I actually really like the color of it, just not the level of shimmer. I'm having some kind of crazy potential breakout situation on my chin that started on the plane last night and you know when you're like, ah, I can feel it coming, I can feel it coming. So I'm not wearing too much makeup today. So yes, let's do this. And that's my makeup for the day. Oh, that was really loud. I nearly just slammed that on my finger. Time to go and sign some books. Let's do this. On a side note, my makeup drawer in London is a mess. You didn't see it here. Shh, don't tell anyone. I am struggling to do an outfit of the day today because I have washed bed sheets drying. This is my drying system. I have this rag which is drying the pillowcases and will be drying the towels. But the sheets are too big, so this is my drying system, and it's in the way of my mirror. So I'm hoping you guys can see across the table. Today I have on my new look striped tie shirt. I'll turn around and show you as well. Looks like this. And then I also have on my current Elliot ripped boyfriend jeans, which are my fave for chilling out, being casual. Don't have any shoes on yet. I'm actually going to wear my new, um, or new-ish espadrilles, um, which I'll show you in a second. And I have on my... Dior sunglasses, which loads of people have been asking about these um, on my Instagram um, and where to find them because apparently they're not on the website. I actually don't know because I got given them from Dior and I don't know like if they're available yet but I will try and find out for you. These are the shoes that I'm putting on. These are my Penelope Chilvers espadrilles which I really love. They're super super comfy this summer. I think they're quite cute. So I'm going to put those on. I'm feeling very summery today and the sun has come out so it's going to be a good one. Yeah so that's what they look like. I love these. I think they're so fun and summery. So I've just arrived at the headline offices <laughs> and come into a room with some of my books. Here's the first stack and uh, here are the others. This is going to be a long morning. All of the lovely girls at Headline are unpacking and I'm going to get signing. This is crazy. Stopping for a little bit of a coffee break, guys. These are all the ones left. I'm feeling good about it because these are the empty boxes they're going into. But we've just finished, oh, distracted by the snacks. We've just finished all of these 
and my fingers hurt. I always get the same little sore spot on my finger here. And I used to get it when I did exams at school every time. And I've got it again, first time in a while, because I never really write anymore. I'm always typing. I feel like that's probably pretty common now. Most people type more than they write, right? But we're doing it. We're nearly there. <laughs> there you go, guys, the last one. Dun, da, da, da. My hand really hurts now. I've just finished signing, so exciting. It actually took me uh, four hours. I'm now in Oxford Circus and I'm on my way to Topshop. I want to get another piercing in my ear and I have half an hour. I'm going to see if I can do it or if there's a queue or whatever. So, fingers crossed. I decided yesterday that I wanted it and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do it. Guys, I'm terrible. I didn't vlog after I went into Topshop because I then ended up being late for my next meeting and have just got on the most packed train with so much luggage, but I got my piercings. Dun, 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 dun. I actually got two in one go. I think I need to get a smaller stud for this ear, which I had these two already. And then I got this one and this one. Mike doesn't like them. I've wanted them for years and I had a realization when I was in Greece. I was like, you know what? YOLO. I hate that saying, but really, YOLO. Well, you you only, live, you only once. live once and not say YOLO. Okay, I won't say YOLO. I just say you only live once. Wanted it for ages. Mike got his hair cut and we ended up having a fight on the phone again. It does actually look very smart. You look really nice. I was like, no, don't cut it again. And he was like, well, I can do what I want. I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to get my ears pierced again. Mike was like, oh, here we I go. Didn't, I didn't go here. I said, that's absolutely fine. You can do what you want because I'll never tell you what to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, missus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we are on our way to get some fuel right now and then what's, we're going to go and next? get... Are you going to get sort of like nose piercings, uh, um, tattoo, I quite sleeve. like here. Yeah. I, I want to get more tattoos this year, but I've been planning that for ages. You know about that already. No, but you've got to think it's something good to get tattooed. I know, I know one it's thing. there forever. I've, I've got two tattoos that I want, but I'm not going to tell you what they are, guys, because then it wouldn't be a surprise when I actually did it. I'm so happy to be home. I haven't seen Mike in a few days. On our way, we're gonna get some lunch on, lunch, some That's dinner. Lunch. Um, dinner on the way home because we have no food in the house. Got a pack for Portugal because we've got a wedding tomorrow. I feel like I look so shiny. My minimal makeup is non-existent makeup right now. You're gonna fill up the car. Hi, you're so cute. Look at your hair. Ah. We're in M&S on the hunt for dinner. What do you Better fancy? Get sharp and get some snacks. So I've got loads of stuff to do. At what have you got to do at home? I've got lawns to mow. Lawns to mow. Stuff to clean. What do you I want, want to, to eat? Quick and easy. That's why I want that. I want to get some grapes, not for dinner, just for in general. What are you off to? What's he looking at? Asparagus. I'm not. I am definitely not cooking anything. I'm getting like a salad. I've got so much to do when I get home. I haven't so heard all week. Are we having separate meals then? Well, you can get a salad. <laughs> Where's the opportunity? I'm gonna go get some fruit. Look how pretty this wine looks. It makes me want it just on the label. I'm gonna go for these ones, yeah. This is definitely a new addition to M&S. I'm weird and I know it, but cockles are like my favorite thing ever. Look what I found. That would be like, yes. Look, it's new. What are you getting? Poison duck. I'm so far I've got cockles and grapes. You've got a really something. tasty supper. <laughs> also going for a Greek salad because I miss Greece already, but I'm gonna get some extra olives because there's like two in there and that's not enough. Here come the fluffy bambinos. <laughs> Hi babies. <laughs> hey Wiggles. Hey guys. Are you excited? Come on, let's go put the stuff inside. We can have proper cuddles. Yes. Oh, I've missed you, my little furball. I have. Are you the cutest? Are you the number one cutest? Oh, no, I think Squidge is the cutest. Yeah? Who's cuter? You or Squidge? What about Treacle? Oh, my goodness. Hey, baby. Hey, 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 guys. You know what is also exciting, guys? Because we're heading on holiday first thing on Sunday, and we're away all of tomorrow, I get to open my birthday presents now because we're gonna be away for my birthday. So Mike said I can open them now. I've only got three here. I've got ones from Mike's mum, Mike's sister, and Mike's other sister. I'm gonna open them. <laughs> the packing situation is real, guys. It is a mess in here, and I've gotta try and fit it all. I've actually got two bags. This is my first bag. This has got all of my toiletries in it. Portugal packing, and my mum's here as well, being awesome. She just bought me my birthday present. Do you wanna see it? Yeah. Should we show them? Yeah. Mum just got me the coolest birthday present ever 
for the spare room. I'm getting old now, you see, and it's getting to the point where I like house things <laughs> instead of clothes and stuff for my birthday. Look at this, guys. It's in the wrong place at the moment because we're going to move a bit of furniture for it. How cool is this little chair? It's an antique chair and then it's got this awesome polka dot fabric on it. Mum found it at an auction and it's so cool. So we're going to put it in that corner where that chest is and then put the chest in this corner because there's a bit more space in that corner. But I think it's really cool. Very excited about that. So I'm getting into bed right now and I'm going to call it a night here. I've actually got my my chin is covered in spot stickers. I'm having like a massive breakout on my chin right now. I've also got one there, um, which is not really a major spot. But um, I don't know what's going on with my chin at the moment, but it seems to be not very happy. I'm going to go to bed. Mike has Anchorman playing. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed to Ron Burgundy. <laughs> That's going to be it for tonight, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope these spot stickers stay on overnight and I wake up with no spots. You never know. Um, I'll see you all very soon. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Bye.